Alyssa, I would think that you would know better than anyone that no one comes between me and my man. Except for herpes, crabs, and other viral infections. This season on Big Brother. Hey, Brennan. And blah, blah, blah. I love you, Brennan. And blah, blah, blah. Somebody comes in between me and my man. Blah, blah, blah. Somebody comes in between me and my man. Eat your fucking food, look, I ain't worried about it. I should have known. Sauerkraut. Are you kidding me? Wrong move, Biot. Hey, everybody, Eric Hurdo here from PureRealityRecaps.com with an all new episode of Big Brother Reality Check, my short comedic mashup show where I take everything from this past week's Big Brother shows and live feeds and mash it up into some ridiculous story to, well, the best of my memory. But look, if you guys want a more accurate, in-depth version of this week's events, then be sure to check out our weekly group recap show. Or if you just need to know what's happening right as it goes down, then you're not going to want to miss our live feed breaking news show. And all those shows can be found over at yourrealityrecaps.com. But for those of you that just want to see, like, best of clips from this mashup show, you're not going to want to miss our Instagram page where I just took 10 second little short clips and, and you can watch them there. And it's a great way to get your friends and family hooked. Now, make sure you guys stick around to the end of this show for all of our special announcements, prize giveaways, and contest winners. But since we have so much to get to right now this week, let's just jump right into it. Now, when we last left off, the house guests were busy having balls pelted at their face and water squirted all over them. And the jurors were competing to come back in the house, and Jesse fell off, cursed out Amanda, Candace jumped because she didn't want to come back into the racist house, and Helen, well, she blamed it on not eating when she fell. And then Alyssa made a superhero type move, got back up on the platform, and ended up winning HOH. And as we all know, with great power comes great responsibility, which is why it makes no sense to me why she put up McCray and Aaron. You're playing personal. Alyssa. Now, Amanda did try and talk her out of it. She was totally pretending to be her BFF this week, but guess what? Doesn't work, because when Melissa makes up her mind, she's sticking with it. So, McCray and Aaron went on the block. Now, this made the Wicked Witch of the West Amanda go batshit crazy. She started attacking Amanda, Gina Marie, and anybody else that got in her way. But Alyssa knows her weakness, spit water at her. Nah, well, but it didn't work, because she's not really a witch, Alyssa. You do know that, right? Anyway, moving on. So, production decided to step in, and since they were out of flying monkeys, they decided to send in the next best thing, the Zingbot. More importantly, my favorite little guy, the baby Zingbot. So the Zingbot came into the house and decided to wake their asses up with something all of us Big Brother fans look forward to each season, the Zingbot insults. Not surprisingly, the Zingbot called Amanda a big fat whore and Aaron super racist. He also called Spencer super fat and said, hey, Gina Marie, you're most likely to be in an insane institution for being in love with a gay person. He also called Alyssa a cheap imitation of Rachel. No surprise there. And Judd, well, we don't know what he called Judd. Oh, hey, did I forget to mention that Judd was the juror voted back in the house. Well, now I am. Welcome back, Judd. Over at the veto comp, it was Baby Singbot's birthday party. And how fitting that in a comp designed all around insulting people, Amanda wins. And that's when the Queen of Mean really decides to let out her crazy. Switching from the Wicked Witch of the West, she decides to go more with a Snow White theme and dresses up as an old lady to taunt Alyssa now. We get it, Amanda. You're a badass. Over at the veto comp, she decides to pull out one of Rachel Riley's lines saying, nobody comes in between me and my man, Alyssa. You should know that. And Alyssa, without missing a beat, follows it up with this. Well, Amanda, clever line. Rachel probably is very disappointed and insulted that someone like you would use it. And then, in a move that doesn't really make any sense, she decides to put up Andy as the replacement. Because, you know, she can't trust him. But hello, Alyssa, can you trust anybody else? Andy is so much more on your side, it doesn't really make any sense. But once she has an idea, she will not budge from it even if it's at the detriment of her game. Now, production doesn't want Aaron to leave, so they had to figure out what to do. And in the darkness of night, they snuck Daniel Donato into the house. Her goal was to coach Aaron as to what to do to stay in the house this week. But since two of the same people cannot exist in the same place in this fictional superhero world, well, things didn't go well. And look, I get it. You don't believe me? Well, here, I have proof that it happened. Like, what is the point of this? Like, I don't even know what's happening right now. I think that everybody sees you for what you are. I don't give a fuck. I mean, I think that people see that, though. You don't know shit about me. We all see it. Why are we still talking about this? I don't think that you know. I get that you know, but nobody understands. I was over it, and I didn't want to talk about it, and you kept bringing it up. Because I want to be here more than any single person in this house. It sucks, and it's sad. 
Yeah, it does suck. It sucks. Really sad. It's sad. Blah, blah, blah. Like this, it just sucks. It sucks and it's sad. I'm not going to sit here and complain to you how much it sucks. So why are we even doing this? You don't even have to do anything. Don't, don't tell me what to do. I'm not like that. You don't do this. Yeah, I can sit there and bitch. Well, I wasn't going to. I know that for a fact. I was going to sleep. I was waiting to go to the bathroom. It doesn't make sense. I'm not that person. I just want it to end. I just want you to stop. It just sucks, that's all. Everything is fucking cool. <laughs> I don't know, this... <laughs> well, that pushes us right into Thursday night's live elimination show, where we learn that Spencer Judd, Gina Marie, and Aaron have formed a new alliance called the Exterminators. They're gonna work together to get Amanda and McRae out of the house. Ooh, and during the live show, we also had the segments of the past house guests, which I told you guys about weeks ago. They also brought Dan Giesling back, which we'll know I'm so thrilled about because I just love watching people who think they're the shit talk about nothing that makes sense at all. Kidding, not kidding, kidding, nope, not kidding. <laughs> and unfortunately, despite Daniel Donato's best efforts, well, it didn't work out for Aaron. She was voted out of the house unanimously. And while anybody who watched this show would know I am not a fan of the super racist Aaron, I did kind of think it was unfair the way she was blindsided by the Julie interview. Yes, Julie Chen should have given her hell, but I think she should have had a chance to defend herself and it should have happened at the finale. Not that she deserves to be defended, just saying, kind of, kind of didn't like it. Just didn't like it, my opinion. Ooh, it's kind of like the same way I didn't like that the Zingbot called Andy a floater, tipping him off to the way he is portrayed in the game. It's an unfair advantage and I don't like it. But you know what I do like? Tonight's HOH com. It is everybody trying to get the eggs across the little mesh thing while they're all dressed up like cute little bunny rabbits. So what's gonna happen? Who's gonna win the HOH? Is Amanda McRae gonna go on the block? Is Alyssa gonna get back backdoored this week? Well, you'll have to find out who wins HOH next week because they ended on a cliffhanger. But you guys should know by now, if you want Want all the details as they happen, check out our live feed news shows or our weekly group recap. This week, Adam joined us to talk everything that happened, including who won HOH. Well, that about wraps up our show for this week. Now, don't forget to head over to yourrealityrecaps.com to see all of our blogs, contests, and videos about Big Brother, Survivor, The Amazing Race, and even The Real Housewives. Oh yeah, Bravo fans, we cover those shows too. And John even does blogs about them, kind of like Michelle's blog. You know what, speaking of, except, well, not really, you can take all of our shows with you to go on your favorite mobile device or tablet. The iTunes and RSS feed links are below this video. And I even separated them between audio and video only feeds. Which, if you watch or listen in iTunes, can you please just take one minute and rate us five stars? Five stars are going to kick a baby. Okay, not going to kick a baby, <laughs> but we would really appreciate it. And if you're watching on, you know, YouTube or in a YouTube player, then give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any shows. And seriously, it really helps support us and it allows us to keep bringing you content like this, our live events, and doing our prize giveaways. But if you guys really want to be a gold star supporter, then sign up to the live feeds through yourrealityrecaps.com. Just make sure you clear your cookies first. Or you know what, you can also make a donation directly to us over there if you want, then you can do that too. But look, I get it, money site. You guys should try not having any because you spend all of your time making shows and never working. <laughs> I'm kidding, I love you. Now look, the easiest way that you guys can support us is simply just to share these videos on Twitter and Facebook. Actually, any social media website will do. You can find us on any social media website by just going to yourrealityrecaps.com slash the name of the site you're looking for. So slash Tumblr, slash Pinterest, slash Aaron in the Face. Don't slash Aaron in the Face, people. I am kidding. And look, we're not just asking you guys to do it for our own selfish reasons. Every time you share content, you're entered into our iPad bundle giveaway contest. The details for that are over at the website, or you can just click all around this video. And you know what? The real reason that we guys do these shows is because we love interacting with all of you. So make sure that you leave your questions, comments, and suggestions wherever you're watching this, because you never know what's going to make the show the following week, or even instantly if you guys watch our live shows that we do in our Z-Box room every Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern. The links to that and everything that I mentioned in this video are below wherever you're watching this video or over at yourrealityrecaps.com. So since I think I covered everything I could possibly cover, I will see you guys all next show. Bye for now.